From the campus studios of Sarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello, listeners. Welcome to another Ropecast with me, Roger Charlton, and... Peter Tischer. Hi, Roger. Hi, listeners. Uh, look, I'm sorry. I haven't eaten all day. I have to take a bite into my well, croissant make, here. Don't make too much rustling while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Quiet, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're here on the French border, these croissants or whatever uh, you call them. Is that them, how, you, how you pronounce these we're, things? British people have terrible trouble pronouncing that word. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's definitely not a French horn. That's a musical <laughs> instrument. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, Speaking it's, of this, yeah. um, I have a lot of trouble finding my way around in a British bakery. Yes. Because the expressions are so, well, different. Yes. And, um, um, for example, what are scones? Scones? Is that how you pronounce it? It's well, spelled scone. Well, yes, I guess a few people would, would use that pronunciation. I would only say the stone of scone, which is a coronation stone that the Scots uh -huh. uh, like to keep in Scotland and we like to keep in Westminster Abbey. But okay. otherwise, it's a scone. Okay, and what is it? It's um, it's sweet, it's baked, it's um, it's not really bread, but it's similar. It's uh, somehow between bread and cake, I would say. Mm -hmm. can be plain, can have uh, raisins in it. Mm -hmm. And I immediately think of cream tea. There's a very English speciality where you, you order afternoon tea, a pot of tea, you can have coffee if you want, and scones, butter, jam, and really thick cream. Uh-huh. That yeah. sounds okay. Yeah. Um, maybe after this podcast. But another, <laughs> <laughs> another thing, I uh, also saw that announced somewhere on a, on a sign, crumpets. Oh, crumpets. They are, yeah, they are slightly sweet. We toast those. They are round. They're quite, mm, quite uh, filling sort of thing. They have um, little little holes in the top, pin pricks. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very good when you've toasted the thing. Put it on your plate. Okay. You put butter on, and the butter doesn't run off the, the warm butter because there are all these little holes. So mm. it kind of goes into the crumpets. So they slightly. seep into the holes. Exactly, yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, you can have them with something on, honey or something, or you can just eat them like that with butter. Mm, that's they have to be good. toasted. You can't eat them as they come. They're just too soggy. Okay, okay. So they're basically made for the butter. Yeah, well, they're made for toasting as well. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Are there any other bakery specialties that I... Um, I think you've got to be careful with the word bun because um, Americans tend to think, well, this is what you use for a hamburger or yeah, something hamburger like that. Yeah, hamburger bun. That's the, the soft sort of bread, little bread kind, rolls. Kind of bread roll, which yeah. can, of course, be the case in Britain because American influence is so strong. Mm -hmm. Kind of, um, you know, the, mm -hmm. the easy eating culture that's come in. Right. But uh, where I was growing up in the north of England, a bun was a small cake, so something quite sweet. Oh. It might be iced. It might have... Again, it might have sultanas in or something like that. And we have to tell our listeners what iced means. Oh, yeah. This is kind of um, a coating made of mostly of sugar. Right. You also call that frosting. No. I would. No. No. no I, I would. <laughs> the Americans say frosting. Okay. Frosting and yeah. icing. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Now, we buy icing sugar to make this. There's special icing sugar yeah, for yeah. that. Yeah. Ah, cool. Very, very fine powdery sugar. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Which we just use for that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, another thing, I think, well, it's originated in the southwest of England, uh, a pasty. A pasty? P-A-S-T-Y. Not a pasty? No. Like in no, no. pastry? No. Although it's made of pastry. But it's, it's called pasty. It's a pasty. Like in the past. And this has a filling of maybe meat and potato. These days can be just vegetables. It's... Um, so it's salty then? It is. Yeah, it's savoury, as I would say. Savoury. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe it has, it has a very special shape. The Cornish pasty was was actually baked for miners, and they would go underground, and they would their hands would be covered in um, really quite poisonous dust from the mine, and so they had this very crusty pie. They would eat the pie and throw away the crust because it was so coated in stuff that would be very harmful to you. But nowadays you can eat the crust. Oh, yes, nowadays they're very popular all over the country. Uh -huh. A Cornish pasty. A Cornish pasty. Yeah. Does that have to do it's a with... Kind of, it's a kind of variant of what I otherwise I'd call a pie, a meat pie or a vegetable pie, which is baked in pastry, a, a pastry base, a pastry topping. A pie, usually, to, to me, who 
I, I speak American English would always be sweet with, with fruit in it. Or yeah, something. of course, we can have apple pie or other fruit pies as well. Yeah, you actually say that's American as apple pie. Yes, but to you, I, but to you, a pie can be can be savory, savory with meat. Yeah, yeah. The, um, uh -huh. the Spaniards also go in for these pastries with meat or vegetables in, don't they? Um, a, a lot with potatoes. Yeah, in it. yeah, yeah. So it's not purely a British thing. Uh, probably, but in America, baking products are actually very different, I believe, from what you get in Great Britain. Yeah. You know, Peter is still munching away on his croissant here, so I think maybe we should draw things to a close. But mm -hmm. what people visiting Britain would need to know is if you go into a shop or a supermarket mm -hmm. to get bread, it's mostly sliced, pre-wrapped uh, just ready for use. It's not what we would find in Germany, for example, where you really see the loaf of bread. Yeah, and it's a German would not accept prepackaged bread in a bakery. Definitely in a supermarket, yes. Mm -hmm. That's something similar in the U.S., where you have very not a great number of bakeries to go around to start with, but they sell their bread also prepackaged. But still, I would. That's another. No, that's another podcast, isn't it? Yeah, let's talk about American bakery products next time. Okay, let's do that. And this allows me to finish my croissant. Okay. <laughs> Bye for today. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.